Okay, it is just about lunchtime on Sunday, September 11th. I posted something when I got up this morning over morning coffee um, in memorial of September 11th, uh, 2001, um, and the assault on the World Trade Center. And uh, yeah, it's always weird every time this day comes around. Anyway, I finished coating these two canvases in black um, and they're gonna dry here for a bit and then we'll get started. I wanna do something very abstract, like more than I usually do. This picture here, I think is gonna be the inspiration. Um, there's not much to do up here until things dry. That being said, of course, I've got chores to do. I need to get laundry ready. Bob's gets home. Bob's, 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 Bob's. Uh, Bob gets home tonight. And when he does, I will need to do some laundry. And I have breakfast dishes to do and all that stuff. And I see a couple things over that way I need to put away. So, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Can't go out of the house because the air quality is still bad. So I'm just trying to keep myself busy because, you know. But... Yeah, and there's only so much projects you can do because at some point things have to take up the table space because they've got to dry. That being said, I do have drying downstairs. I could do that, so which I might. I'll be back. I also have to empty all the garbage cans because tomorrow's garbage day. So let me do that first. So what do we think? It's not as abstract as I was shooting for, but again, I was painting what I feel. I'm pretty pleased. Yep, we're gonna let it dry now before I mess it up. And no, that's not the word I wanna say. The word starts with an F. But I'm pretty sure I'd not be monetized for that. Anyway, I guess I better clean up now. I'll be back. Good morning, it is. Monday morning, September 12th. It's just before 11 o'clock. I need to switch laundry loads and get everything dried and make some chicken broth. I've already, already got the vlog for last week, rendering right now and saving. And I'll get it loaded to YouTube later today. And then I'll do also do my writing. Bob's upstairs catching up on work. And uh, we've got Lily for all day today and tomorrow. She goes home tomorrow night, so. Um, yeah, anyway, it's all good. We got a little bit of rain, yay. It helped with the air quality tremendously. Fabulous. Didn't do anything about the pine cone schmutz, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, maybe. Anyway, but it might mean if the air quality is good enough that we can go walking, yay. All right. Bone broth, supplements, laundry. I think that's what we need to do. I'll be back. Uh, video is loading to YouTube. I got a bunch of social media posts written and scheduled. I've decided that I love my dictionary stickers. I made so much and that's in last week's vlog. So go watch that vlog. Um, I'll link it down below. Um, that I'm going to actually scan the pages I made those stickers from and save them on my hard drive um to just print at will and at random just checking around outside it's nothing much going on out there um it's past time for lunch i need to go eat something so we're gonna let the computer do what it needs to it's loading to video and that takes a while and 
We'll let it do its thing. I'll scan the pages after lunch. I'll be back. Morning. My hair is still a little wet. It's okay. Um, I'm trying to adjust all the mirrors in the car before I leave the driveway. All right, we are headed over to the grocery store. I need a few, a few things. I'm kind of grocery shopping this week by, you know, piecemeal because we've got stuff coming up this weekend and next week. So we're doing, we're doing what we can, what, when we can. So anyway, kids come home tonight. That means Lily goes home tonight. Means I can clean the sofa and wash the blankets later or tomorrow. And I'm gonna go get this done this morning because Mr. Bob needs a couple things for lunch and he doesn't have because he doesn't have he's at completely out of a couple things and he doesn't have anything for lunch. So I'm gonna go do this this morning. And then we can go home and maybe do some art. I've got a couple of journal pages I want to work on. I'm a little slow on the uptake. I realized y'all aren't going to see this vlog until after I get back. So I can tell you the craziness that's happening this week is that not only have the kids been in Lithuania and Lily doesn't understand, but Bob is picking them up at the airport right now. She's going home tonight. Um, <clears throat> that gives us a few days for us to decompress, chill, calm down. We're headed to Hawaii, people. We're going to be there for two weeks. And the kids are supposed to join us, but they are just coming back from Lithuania. We'll see if that part works out. But regardless, I'm heading my ass to Hawaii. So we will be vlogging from there. Of course, you're all not going to see this until I get back. So, but anyway, if you're a patron or supporter, you will get photos and things in real time. So if you want to get that, you got to be a patron or supporter. The link is down below. Anyway. <sighs> Fall's about to hit here in Oregon, which I'm so happy about, but we haven't been to Hawaii in about 10 years, and I do love it there, so I can't wait to go. And I'm, of course I'm taking some art supplies, not a ton, but I mean, I could run around and make myself crazy 24 hours a day the whole time I'm there, but I like to just sit by the pool or on the beach with my sketchbook. I mean, you're in tropical paradise. I don't want to run myself ragged going all over the place. I want to enjoy the scenery. That's how I vacation anyway. What about you? All right, I'll be back.
morning, everybody. It is 10.50 a.m. Wednesday, September 14th. Lily went home last night. Uh, Bob got the kids from the airport finally after a long, tiring journey <laughs> from Lithuania back to the United States and through security and all that stuff. Anyway, um, so yeah, so they're home. And um, I slept in a little bit this morning. I'm not mad about that. I dug out some suitcases for our trip to Hawaii, starting the packing prep for that. I also, of course, I, I don't, yeah, so I started this. No idea where that's going, so I don't know. We'll find out. I don't think I've vlogged since this morning. Um, but if you've seen this clip, you saw a little clip of me um, painting, starting another new canvas. I don't know what's with me in the painting right now, but that's my last really big canvas. And I actually think I might work on some little ones next. But that's for when we get back from Hawaii. I know. That's the other thing I've been doing is uh, starting the packing for Hawaii. I am not a last minute packer. I... For me, last minute packing is packing like now and we leave Monday. Uh, today's Wednesday. <laughs> um, yeah, the, for me, that's last minute packing. So anyway, I got a lot of packing and sorting and things working. And I, I reorganized a couple of drawers in the kitchen from my stash of bins. It cost me nothing. I use my stash of bins. But we had the knife drawer that was just a disaster. And now, much neater. And I saw on Instagram, Pinterest, all that stuff, where somebody had taken their um, drawer with their Ziploc bags in it and um, organized it with some cute containers. Again, I didn't go buy contain cute, con cute containers. I used what I had. And, you know, the boxes are kind of a pain in the ass. I am trying to limit my use of Ziploc bags, but I, I never seem to be able to do without them completely, which I know is really bad for the environment. Um, I'd love a better choice for this drawer, but I don't really think there is one. It's Thursday, September 15th, I think. Hold on, I got it right. Um, it's not, let's see, 1.58 p.m., so just about 2 o'clock. Okay, guys, I don't know if we're going to get to go out and run any errands tonight. Bob has had a hell of a day, and he is still upstairs working, so we will see some complications in his company with what they do what do they call it escalations so anyway equipment issues anyway um i did just finish while he was um he's working i finished this the green sketching handbook i love it she talks about another book at the end of this written in 1927 i think and forgive me, I don't have my glasses on. Um, Tramping with a Color Box by C.J. Vine. Um, it's a vintage antique book, so I doubt I'm going to be able to find a copy at the library or anything else. But I'll definitely be keeping it on my wish list. Because um, it sounds like another one that I want to read that's about encouraging you to just go out and sketch nature and sketch what you see and not worrying about 
having it be perfect, um, just making observations and encouraging others to do the same. And it's not about, you know, being Picasso when you're out in nature doing your sketching. Anyway, and using that as a therapy uh, tool to relax and unwind and de-stress. And it definitely does do that for me because I started doing it before I even finished the book. Anyway, I think it's a pretty good book. Good morning. Um, it is Friday, September 16th, 9.52 a.m. Unexpectedly, we are doing family dinner night tonight instead of tomorrow. So I need to go out and pick up a few things because, yeah. <laughs> and because we're leaving in a couple of days, I'm not going to like do a bunch of cooking or get a whole bunch of stuff. Because um, we won't be here to finish it if there's leftovers. So... We're gonna order pizza in, but we always do like snacks and drinks before we eat dinner. Like charcuterie, meat and cheese board, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so I need to go out and pick up some things. And there's a couple people besides myself that don't drink alcohol tonight. So I need to pick up some drinks for those people who don't drink liquor. Good and morning, everybody. It is Saturday, September 17th. Uh, 10.45 a.m. Don't get excited. I've looked some of that up already. Um, we well, are running... Excited why? Because you got it right? Because I got it right. Oh, yeah. And you looked at it before you... Uh, I did. I did. Kind of not, before you turned on. I did. Um, we are going out to run some pre-travel errands. And then when we get back, we're going to set the plants up to... Hopefully self water while we're gone, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, it's just gonna be a day of travel prep. I don't, I, yeah, there's <laughs> there's not a lot else to do except prep for the travel, get the house ready, get ourselves ready, finish packing, do laundry. Y'all know the routine already. So first stop, stop, we have to go out and find Mr. Bob some shoes and um, then we will take it from there. So I'll be back. We got most of our packing done. I got all the house plants set up to hopefully stay alive while we're gone. I'll put a picture here. I don't think Mr. Bob realized how many house plants I actually have until we gathered them all into the kitchen. It's a lot. It's a lot. Thank God the kitchen island is big. Um, anyway, now we're going to go for a walk and get some steps in. And uh, this will be good because I haven't been out in a couple of days. All right. I'll be back. It's 11 o'clock. I know, right? Bob and I have had a busy most of the day between making sure to get our exercise in and packing and all the things. We have more prep to do on the house and stuff before we leave Monday morning at the butt crack of dawn. Oh, it's the crack you never want to see, the butt crack of dawn. Anyway, um, but it's been a good day. We're tired. He's watching TV, but I'm going to go to bed. Anyway, you aren't going to see this for a few weeks. It's going to be a few weeks late, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I hope you're having a good day, that you're staying safe and creative and healthy and all that jazz. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links and all that stuff. Happy mail address is down there. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.